Welcome back to another episode of Cinnabon Sundays, a weekly video series where we talk about all things bunny. And I'm so sorry if you can hear Cinnabon chomping on her breakfast next to me. <laughs> Today, we are prepping for a pet sitter. It is a holiday weekend. The 4th of July is this weekend, which means that we have some time off of work. And I am going to be going out of town just for the weekend. It's pretty far where I'm going. I'm going to a family reunion up in West Virginia and it's about a seven hour drive. So it's definitely not worth bringing Cinnabon just for a couple of days. So all of that to say, I have a pet sitter coming and this is actually my first time using this specific pet sitter since I moved to Charlotte. And I thought it would be an interesting vlog just to kind of go along through the day, prep for my pet sitter and answer some of y'all's questions that you have about having pet sitters for your bunnies. So I actually have quite a lot to do today. I feel like anytime you go out of town, you just have like the world's biggest to-do list. So I need to make my way through that and I will bring you along for all of it. So let's get started. All right, so one of the first things that I want to do is I really want to make up like a document for my pet sitter. I had her come over and like see the space, but I want to make like a very detailed document of like, this is what you feed when you feed it. So I'm going to type all of that up now. And I'm going to try to link some kind of template or this version exactly or something in my description below so that if you guys want to make cinnamons in her litter box. So if you guys want to make one, you can just click the link in my description below and it'll take you to that template. Also, um, you might notice that my blinds are open and you can see a little bit outside. That is a project that I am working on for another video. So that's kind of your like little teeny tiny sneak peek, but you'll see more in upcoming weeks. But yes, let's get typing. <laughs> All right, so I have our little document here that I will set up a little table for her later. But something that I really like to do whenever I have a pet sitter or just whenever I go out of town is make sure that the house is super clean. So I'm gonna run the Roomba. And then while the Roomba's running, I'm gonna go out to the shed and like refill her hay, her litter, and just make sure that like all of her like bunny items are ready and stocked and the pet sitter doesn't have to look for anything. So let's do that. Now that I'm looking back, So I thought while I'm kind of in the middle of getting everything ready, I would answer a few of y'all's questions about pet sitting. I put a little question box up on my Instagram just being like, hey, drop your questions here. So I'm gonna go and answer some of those. Do you have someone stay in your home or do you drop Cinnabon off? So I pretty much always have someone like come here. I don't really have anyone stay. I know with Cinnabon, she would be way less stressed if she were here and not elsewhere. So even though I'm not home and she'll be a little stressed out that I am not around her, she'll be happier in her environment. So I usually try to find someone to come stay here. How do you find the right pet sitter? I think this is a really good question. Like I said, I am actually using this pet sitter for the first time and it was kind of serendipitous the way it happened. I needed someone for the weekend and I got a flyer in my mailbox actually from a girl who's 17 and said that she does pet sitting. So I gave her a call, she came over, I like talked through everything and she seemed pretty responsible and that was kind of it. But I will say for longer stays, I really try to focus on getting Cinnabon to have a pet sitter who I really, really trust. So for me, that's my parents, that's best friends, 
um, pretty much people that I know I can trust no matter what. So for shorter instances, I think it's totally fine to use someone who's more of a generic pet sitter. I mean, someone you can trust for sure, but I think if this was like a 10 day period, I would have my parents do it just because I don't feel bad asking them to stay for a long time and I don't feel bad calling a lot and I know they're gonna send me photos. What websites would you recommend to give the sitter to educate themselves on rabbits? That's a great question. Honestly, uh, our YouTube channel. I think the biggest thing instead of websites is to actually write out a document like what I did earlier of this is everything to look for. Here's vet information if you need a vet. These are the things to pay attention to. So instead of just giving them like all of the bunny knowledge in the world, you can write down like all of the specific things you know about your bunny and show it to them as well when you're teaching them how to take care of them. Is it very expensive? In all honesty, what I'm paying is I am paying $15 each time the pet sitter comes. So that's $30 a day if they come twice a day. The pet sitter will be coming four times, so I'll give her $60 and I might tip, leave a little extra treat or something. But that's what I charge, or that's what I pay. That's what I pay. How do you know which pet sitters are going to keep your bunny safe? Like I said, I think a really big part of it is just knowing that you can trust this person. It's really important to have a really safe space for your bunny to be in no matter what. So Cinnabon, while I'm gone, stays in this room and she only free roams the rest of the house when the pet sitter is here. I also have a pet camera that I always keep in this room so I can pay attention to how Cinnabon's doing the, during the day when the pet sitter is not here. And if you really want to peek in on what the pet sitter is doing while they're there, you can, but I'm a big fan of having a pet camera, especially if you're going out of town. Is it better to have a friend or a rabbit person come to your house? Honestly, this might be a weird take, but I think a friend is probably the most helpful because I just want someone I can trust. They're not going to be watching Cinnabon forever. I think if you make it as easy as possible for them, like lay out exactly how much food to give, show them exactly what to look for, I would rather have someone that I trust fully in my home than just like a random rabbit guru, you know? Because everybody needs different attention, so I that's how I feel. Okay, so I tried to answer like all of the main questions that I was getting about this. And I think now what I need to do is I have a few errands that I need to run. I need to go to the grocery store and pick up a few things before I go. And then we can kind of lean into the evening of this vlog and kind of wrap up what I'm gonna do to prep for the pet sitter. They grow back while I'm on a one-way track. Now I know what it means to grow old. Yeah, now I know the time I've got. It is just enough to get. Okay, so I have set up my kitchen table to be like the bunny zone. Let me just show you everything. So I have Cinnabon's pet sitting document here. It's actually three pages. I, I, I went overboard on this. I have a little card and a little gift bag for my pet sitter here with just some goodies inside that I got from the fresh market just to say thank you. And over here I have everything Cinnabon's gonna need. So I have all of her pellets and I broke them out into the nighttime and the morning and I labeled them for each time so she knows exactly what to do. I have a pile of toys here so every time she comes she'll give her one of these toys. We have the little clover twists. These are like some hay chews. This is a palm leaf bowl. Um, I have these garden sticks and treats. So these are just like things that if she wants to bond with her and just like reward her, she can give her either one of the little star treats from Fluffy Bun Confections. And then also this medicine. So backstory for this is Cinnabon earlier this week, she pulled one of her toenails out. It was really sad, it got stuck. And so we had to go to the vet and she got some pain medicine, which she's off now, but this is anti-infection like infection antibiotics, just to make sure that the scratch where she got her toenail removed doesn't get infected. So she's gonna have to give this to her once. So I measured it out in the syringe, made it super easy for her. I also have in the fridge her salad right here, which you guys saw. So I have her salad, this is Saturday morning and this is Sunday morning, I have them measured out. Yeah, so essentially the whole idea was just to make it as easy as possible for her so that when she comes in, she can look at the table, just grab what she needs and do it. And like, there's no room for air, essentially. This is called the Cinnabon Pout. 
where she refuses to acknowledge that I'm leaving tomorrow. 